Right, hi guys, uh, welcome to the final episode of Arding Lie Close. Uh, this is our 12th uh, project that we've finished now. It's uh, obviously a six bed, six bathroom HMO. Um, we managed to move in two tenants before it's really sort of completed, so we've got enough completed for them to live. Uh, gas, uh, um, uh, electrical installation, control, all that sort of stuff signed off. Um, to get them in, but we've had to like work around them to, to finish it off and there's still a few bits to finish, but um, yeah. Um, so it's been a good project, um, nothing really major to stand out, there's been no major issues or anything like that, would you say? Um, the drainage had, you were talking about? Yes, yeah, so we had some, I wouldn't necessarily call it issues, but yeah, we just had to be careful with the drainage because we've got um, a bathroom sort of above us here two bathrooms actually above us and the drainage had to go all the way around the property to the front so if you look at the patio that we've got here it's slightly raised but, um, and that just allowed enough ball to, for the you know waste to go to travel the enough distance to get around to the front so uh, yeah not necessarily a problem just something that needed to be calculated and make sure that it had all the right um, full you know for gravity to to work basically um, it's a bit strange because the bit that we're sitting in now was the dining room um, and if you look back at the original um, videos there was like a big chandelier coming down here, well not chandelier but like a big low hanging um, light and so the whole property was you know it needed renovating, needed modernising um, but we have slightly changed the layout so there was the kitchen before which is obviously still the kitchen um, but it also had a downstairs toilet which we converted to a t utility room so it's got the washing machine and the tumble dryer and the boiler and the water tank in there um, so yeah we've sort of manipulated the layout a little bit um, we are still undergoing well we're trying to sort of get planning in for the um, site next door so we're going to change the uh, double drive the garage. double garage sorry um, hopefully into a freestanding house um, so it might be semi-detached house um, but in case that doesn't happen and in case we can only just do an extension we have created the kitchen enough for eight people to live here so whether that would be that we could end up having a couple's rooms or we ended up doing an extension and then the, the house I guess the, the extension would then link in so that window would essentially become a door into the kitchen and then you'd have the six bedrooms that we've got plus the two in the extension. So that's still, you know, that still might happen, but until such a point, this will be a nice big kitchen, enough for everybody. And hopefully. I remember the picture. Yeah. Oh, it's all right. <laughs> Don't worry. Do you want to come in and use, do a new stuff? Um, what was I saying? I have no idea. Yeah, so I think, I, as you can see, we were obviously, um, tenants are living here, so we're having to do this in and around tenants, but um, I think what I was saying before that was, um, yeah, so it'll be, a, regardless of whether we have eight people or six people living here, it's enough to cater for eight people, and so if the eight, if the eight bedrooms don't happen, it will just end up being a really nice big kitchen for six tenants to use. Um, potentially we could still have eight people without the extension if any of the rooms are big enough to cater for a couple um, so that's a possibility to then maximize the asset the you know sweat the asset even more here um, but that would depend on, on whether we then would get planning for this place as well as the the separate property to the side um, so yeah other than that I don't think really there was any issues it's just been interesting making a property whereby you don't quite know what the end product will be so we had to take out all the windows on this side you know with the view that we might then get planning next door um yeah and in the kitchen i'm not sure there was anything else really um there is no plumbing on that side in terms of um waste um plumbing because there's no bathrooms on that side so if we do end up having another property it will be a brand new plumbing line that needs to be put in um but yeah, I think. So yeah, essentially that's it. We haven't done anything to the garden because we need to wait and see what we're doing with that before patio in it. So we just did the, the bare minimum patio in. Yeah, we've got about um, a metre worth of patio just so that there's something. Mm. Um, and also to hide the, the drain so it's like a raised patio. Um, yeah. 
and there's still a, a skip on the drive outside and stuff like that. So I think um, it's quite interesting. You look a lot, a lot online and stuff like that. Not many people that do HMO show off the garden spaces and the front drive and stuff like that. Um, and I guess we haven't done anything to them areas, to those areas just yet. Um, but it is something that I think we find quite important, creating nice little garden spaces and especially like the front as well as you come in and stuff like that. So um, we will be doing that as and when, but as, uh, as ever, when you run your own businesses, we're super, super busy. So we're trying to just squeeze in, uh, film in and all that sort of stuff as and when we can um, and just push stuff because um, you can't ever get things done like perfectly, can you? Like as you want it. Um, that's just something we're learning, but you know, very, very happy. Again, with the standard, very proud of what we've done here. Um, it's beautiful, uh, it looks really nice, it feels really cozy now sitting in here. It's just, yeah, really nice space. So yeah, 12th project done. We've got 13th and a 14th on the go as well. And then uh, it's the start of uh, yeah 2020 and new plans and stuff like that and whatever the future holds for us. So um, yeah, if you've been watching, thanks for watching. Um, I don't think you've got anything else to add. Um, don't think so. No? So, um, yeah, let's do the uh, standard VCC uh, investments. Uh, slidey, slidey shots of the final property and the project. And, uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next uh, vlog. And, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.